Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. Today we will discuss about one more enhancements in SAP SD. And this time it is specifically related to the screen enhancement. And that is in the customer master level. The transaction code is XD02 and VD02. First of all, let me tell you what is requirement here. So business requirement here is that they don't want to anyone can change the general data of the customer either in a VD02 transaction code or XD02. So VD02 or XD02. Even though these two transaction codes are to do changes to that customer, still business expecting that no one should do these changes in online mode. Online is nothing but when a person log into the system and go to the T code VD02 or XD02. So in that mode only, it's not allowed. However, if any IDAC has been triggered, so we have several items are available to change the customer master data right so if any adducts are coming to the system to change the general data of an, a customer that time it's allowed because there is a specific team available to do these changes and they will do these changes from external system only they don't do it in directly in SAP. They will push the data from external system to our SAP system as a incoming IDAC that will change the general data. So through IDAC only the changes should be done, not through manually directly in XD02 or VD02. So let me show you one thing here. Okay, I am going to open one customer now in VD02. If you see here, I'm in VD02, okay? And if you see here, the name one, the street, such term, street two, street three, house number, street, and street four, postal code, country, time zone, city, reason, everything is grayed out. So only minimal field is active. They have disabled everything. So we can't do any changes in the initial screen even though we are in change mode so it's not allowed in the vd02 or xd02 and this is called online mode but if we receive any incoming IDAC, if i click this one if you see here as of now i don't have any incoming data here but if any incoming IDAC comes to system to do changes to the IDAC to this customer means that time only should allowed so now business saying that this change should be applicable to the partners sold to customer account group wise. So they are controlling this change by account group wise. Sold to, ship to, bill to one, payer. So for these four account groups, this change should be applicable. And if you see here, they are saying that which field should be non-modifiable. Right, so for this partner AG, they don't they don't want to change the field city one and language again name four, sort one like this. So we are going to develop two tables now, two database custom tables. Okay, this is the first one. So in the first table, we are maintaining the customer account group for which this functionality should be activated. This is the first table. And second table is this, this table where we will be maintaining the fields, which field should be inactivated to stop maintaining the data into the field. So this is completely the screen enhancement, screen changes. So we are making this in grayed out we can't do any changes here and moreover this is one of the 
request from our friend one subscriber so as per that request we have i am publishing this video right so we should develop two tables and uh, if you see the piece of code what we need to write okay in our app there is a one table called screen and uh, structure also same screen only the screen contains several fields are there required input output active invisible so in our case we are using this many field so in our app we have for this fields we have few parameters two two parameters basically if it is uh, zero then it's inactive if it's one then it's active let's, let's uh, go through the first one required required means it's a mandatory field so here they have maintained as zero zero means not mandatory one means active zero means not active so in this case zero means not mandatory it's not a required field input input means inputting the data to the cell you see here it is grayed out right it's grayed out now it's input field basically so we have maintained as zero here zero means it should be grayed out if one means it will be editable same thing with output also and coming to active output means data should be displayed if you maintain zero here means we don't see any data here okay and coming to active means the screen should be active the field should be active field only and the last one is invisible invisible the same the name saying that invisible means stop displaying the field in the screen it is zero as of now zero means it won't be it will be inactivated inactivated means it won't work that means it will be invisible only if they mention as one means then only it will be invisible we can't see the data in that case only right this is the piece of code which will control these changes so before adding these changes we should write some other code based on these two tables which field for which customer account group which should be grayed out non modifiable and for which account group this change should be applicable and moreover we should add one check that is sci batch so there is a one system variable is there sci batch okay and uh, sci batch is initial and sci bin pt okay it's a batch input and it's an system is a batch user batch user in the sense sorry it's in a background job so whenever we do changes in the foreground online mode means that's an foreground in that case this field will be blank right whenever the background job runs and doing any change to any customer means that means this field will be holding value x that means it's active now same thing which batch input it's kind of in bdc or lsmw data upload okay so currently we have written a check saying that whenever sci batch is initial and sci bin pit is initial then only this code should trigger so in case of background job in case of idoc triggering at that time this code should work so this is the triggering controlling factor of this change after this all as as i discussed right we have this uh, two tables validation also is there and we need to do the changes in the program c38 let me log in okay let me log in one second friends okay so sc38 there is include this is the include lv lsza1005 so in this include we have one form this form right so at end of this form we have created implicit enhancement and added this entire logic 
hope this video will be very helpful to you guys and uh, this is one of the enhancements screen enhancement we can sp speak about the interview as well it will be very added advantage for us right so this is how we should grade out this field that means non modifiable fine friends we'll meet in the next video thanks everyone bye for now